What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of What to Do with Your Crew. This is the Motivational Gamer KyoX and today we're going to be visiting Rick 1001. We're going to go over his account, we're going to talk about some key units that he has and some key things that he can do to elevate his game and in turn help you do the same. So with that being said guys, let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so as always we're going to start from the very beginning. Uh, looks like the lag is done. We've been having a lot of lag today, um, you know, with the different connection. But it looks like we smoothed it out. So we got a lot of food, 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 um, lots of fodder. Uh, water Harpy, again, more fusion stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into these core units here because we're starting to pull into the four star. Um, Tion, again, uh, he's going to be food for Garuda, literally. Um, water Garuda is going to be your best friend in terms of Garudas. You can, however, if you want, keep Tion just in case because, however, end game he does become pretty good. He just takes quite a bit of work to be effective. Water Towers is Gildong. Uh, Gildong, you can you can decide honestly what to do with. Um, he's okay. He can deal some decent damage. Again, he just requires a shit ton of work. Um, so he's not really going to be effective at all, really, until you start getting the runes that you need from, you know, B9, B10. Uh, so with that being said, he's not going to take a priority. Uh, you can feed him, you can keep him. Uh, it's kinda, that's kind of up to you and the needs of your team. Kali, again, is good. She is getting a nerf here pretty soon. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure. I think it just they just changed the buff on the patch notes. Um, but it's not going to affect her damage, um, I don't think, if I remember correctly. However, uh, she still is a awesome, awesome, awesome fire damage unit. Uh, light trio, I've you know I've went over this a million times. Uh, if you guys don't have the light trio, you guys need to do whatever you can to make sure that you get them and get them to five star max immediately. Okay, uh, all of this other stuff is food. Obviously, Amon light trio, wind pirate, awesome potential. Uh, the pirates are just sick. Period. Um, if you have one. Definitely plan on making them, uh, especially in the future, because they're going to be insane. See who else we got. Michelle. Michelle's a very, very good res unit. I see that you don't have a Breon yet. Uh, so Michelle might be a very valuable asset to you, uh, especially when it comes to B10. Also, Cilia. Okay, like I haven't really got into Cilia a lot yet, but Cilia can be a very valuable unit for B10 Giants as well. Mainly because, um, unlike Megan, she blocks beneficial effects for two turns. Meaning that that's two whole turns that you have, you're facing the B10 Giant uh, without attack buff, without defense buff. Um, so that means that's two turns for you to tap on his ass without him hitting you like a cannon. Uh, add Shannon in there for glancing hit and you might have yourself a, a useful concoction. Just something to keep in mind. Um, she isn't necessarily a priority. Um, she does do continuous damage as well, but just something to keep in mind as you move forward. So you don't necessarily have to feed this unit, as she can be valuable later. Everything else, let's see, Shannon, you guys know about, Bernard, again, speed increase equals more turns. Uh, what I'm noticing with you <coughs> right now, mainly on your account, your specific units you want to, like for Bernard, I know it's a little bit tough uh, to get Griffins and stuff, but you want, you're going to want to start... Uh, getting these skills up. Uh, we just recently had that event where we uh, farmed the light trio. So I understand if your skills aren't up on, like, say, your Bella or your Vagabond yet. Uh, but the moment, like, this water Inugami here uh, definitely needs to go to your Baladian. Um, so I would get this water Inugami to 5 star. And if Bella is going to be your next 6 star or your first 6 star, uh, I would set that up so you could successfully increase Bella skills. Let's see here. So Bernard's great. Fire Serpent, again, awesome unit. Uh, really, really good uh, late game and in arena. So one of the, one unit I would recommend to put aside as you're not really going to be using him uh, as a primary yet. But in game, awesome. So you, but you can definitely put him in storage or just leave him in your inventory, lock him, uh, do whatever you got to do. Rauk, again, one of the best farmers in the game. Uh, up to fame and hard. If you're going, if you're planning on getting into fame and hell, it's eventually going to be a water unit. Um, but we we'll definitely work on Raw, get him to five stars, show him some love, especially if he's your primary, um, and then go from there. Let's see here. Food, fusion food, what else? Uh, Wayne. Okay, so here's the thing about Wayne. 
Um, mainly because his, uh, I mean, he can do pretty decent damage. Uh, Wayne was my first six star when I first started playing. Um, if I could go back, I would have changed that. I wouldn't have made Wayne my first six star. However, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. Wayne has potential, okay, mainly because his ready to ambush increases uh, the attack bar and it also increases their attack speed. So it's a very, very, very useful skill. However, uh, Bernard is going to be more effective because he can use um, the speed increase skill with less turns. Um, so that's going to put Bernard above Wayne. However, if you don't have a Bernard and you do have a water, water bounty hunter, then you can use water bounty hunters to substitute. Um, there's really only one way to build them, and that's really attack uh, be simply because of his skill set. I mean, he has chain fire and uh, bullseye, which has a chance to ignore defense. So there's really only one way to build them. I mean, you could build them for HP or support and just focus on that skill, but he's not really very beneficial outside of that skill if you choose to do that build. Uh, next is Water Amazon. I think that's Fusion. Yeah, all the rest of this is food. Shylock here, the Water Serpent. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen Schizophrenic Gamer's video where uh, if you haven't, um, definitely check it out. He, uh, he did a focus on Shylock, which is the Water Serpent, where he's actually usable uh, for Dragon's B10. As a, as a pretty viable unit uh, simply because of his skill set and how he reduces the attack bars and you know etc 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 and it helps you uh, control the boss especially in B10 where you have the immunity tower and the cons damage tower and the boss applying cons damage so if you have the water um, the water serpent in there reducing the enemy's bar it gives you more time to do what you need to do without having to purge immunity etc etc water cassandra's fusion seek of course is just a really heavy hitter and he hits even harder as his runes get better uh, his only issue is that he's you know really really squishy uh, however uh, in game like when you're in arena you know shooting for the top 300 seek hits like a cannon uh, especially as you six star him and uh, you know get him some really solid runes however Again, not a primary focus. Uh, I see your primary focus units are coming along decent. Uh, Bella, obviously you're working on getting her to level 35, which is awesome. Uh, I see you're getting her skills maxed out, which is also very good. Uh, key thing, again, you're just going to want to get Bernard's up there. Kona's, good job. Um, Alright, so here's the thing with your account. I see that you have two units. Um, you have Ramagos, which is a very slow farmer who can farm hell, um, and you also have Degora, which I'm assuming that you're using as your farmer to farm hell. So there's been a ton of math, a ton of people have done math on this. Like, I get it. I get that Degora can complete hell. I mean, and that's absolutely awesome. But my, my thing is, my argument to that is the amount of time that it takes you to finish one hell run or one Dragon's B5 run by soloing with Degora, that same amount of time can be applied to something else and you can get twice, two to three times the rewards. Um, so my my advice or my suggestion to you is, you know, sit these guys on the sideline. Literally, I mean, they, they become even better as they go. Like I've seen like real high-end six-star Degoras endgame. I've seen really, really good Ramagos with like 50k plus HP uh, do a ton of damage. But the key right now, especially as a beginning player, is efficiency and speed and efficiency. You have to get a solid, efficient team together in order to provide the rest of the, the tools that every other monster that you're building needs. Because my thing is that 15 minutes or 10 minutes or 8 minutes or however long it's taking you to run these solo runs with these two war bears, you know, one minute of that could be used to do that same run and the other 7 minutes or 10 minutes or however many minutes can be used to be perfecting your core team. So mainly your core team, I always say this, Light Trio, Shannon, Bernard. Um, focusing on these core units, especially getting their HP to 15,000 or above, is going to allow you to make some strong, strong, strong moves. Now, unless you have like natural fives where it doesn't make any sense to you know, like, like focus on Amon because you know you pull the aerial, I mean, there's certain things that you can do to set yourself up, you know, for success. And for everybody else that's watching this video, uh, you know, same thing applies, guys. Um, but now that we covered that, you know, I just wanted to give you that idea. Because, uh, again, they're great units, but there's just much more efficient things that you could be doing uh, specifically with your team. Um, hell mode is great, 
But if the speed is not matching, like if you're not running a health stage in two minutes, it's not, honestly, it's not worth it. Once you start getting into six minutes plus, I mean, that's already like three hard stages you could have ran, which is almost like time and a half to two times more XP than you'd be getting from one health stage. Um, but other than that, uh, let's talk about your, your new farmer here, um, Tashar. So the Wind Phoenix is one of the hardest hitting units in the game, period. And uh, like Famna is great, don't get me wrong. However, why wouldn't you capitalize on your Wind Phoenix? So your Wind Phoenix is, is a beast. A, um, he's a beast. B, he's going to help you in Dragon's B10. Uh, typically, simply because uh, he hits the target based on their HP, not like regular HP monsters. The more HP a target has, the more damage he deals. You know what I'm saying? So to give you an idea, um, let's see, what was I running? Uh, I think it was a few months ago, like four or five months ago. I had a, uh, I was running my Water Valk, I think she was still a tank at the time, no, maybe it was six months ago, six months ago, and uh, I still had my Water Valk as a tank, and uh, no, it wasn't my Water Valk, who was it? Well, well, anyway, one of my water units was high HP, and uh, I went up against a Tishar, and the unit had, uh, at the time, is like 35k or 40k or whatever, and I got one shot by the Phoenix, so that's, that's to give you an idea of how much capability this freaking Phoenix has. Uh, the key thing when you're building this guy, I see you got him already set up Rage Blade, uh, which is good. You just want to make sure you get his crit rate literally above 50%. I mean, normally I'd say 70%, but 50% is the safe way. And remember, the lower your crit rate is, the higher your crit damage needs to be to compensate for the discrepancy. So if your crit, da crit rate is only 12%, then you better be rocking like 200% crit damage or 260% crit damage or 50%, 250% uh, to make up for that. Now, what's going to happen is is sometimes your crit rate is going to go up, but your crit damage will go down. But it will still make up for it because you're critting more. And then when you get to end game, then you get to choose what it looks like. Then you can choose that you have 100% crit rate with 240% crit damage. And then you're just an absolute beast. But it's possible. But you do that by making baby steps, taking it one step at a time. But what I recommend for you is finding a solid stage. Like, because Tashar, I mean, you can literally, instead of Feynman, you can move to Aiden Forest and focus there on stage one. Or you can hang out in um, Hide Night Ruins over there until you get the strength to get to Aiden Forest. And once you get to Aiden Forest, the thing is, the more HP they have, the, the harder you hit anyway. And he, and he has a, a AOE, and as your runes get better and your attack gets higher, because right now, I mean, his attack is what, uh, 1200, uh, 1203 looks like. But by the time you, you know, you get the runes that you need, I mean, you're pushing 2500 to 3000, maybe even more P attack. So keep that in mind. Focus on your support units, uh, get your runes, Get yourself a solid farmer, um, period. Because, like, honestly, dude, you don't want to be uh, sitting there for, you know, six, seven minutes, eight minutes watching Degora clear something out. Because, honestly, that's two Dragon B10 runs, if you get my drift. So that's two potential six-star runes you could have in that time it takes you to run one um, scenario. So get an efficient team. Like, start moving through. And especially as you pull into rifts. I don't know if you're at the rift yet, if you cleared Chiruka yet. But as you pull in the rifts, like, Degora is, is he's going to phase out, literally, and so is Ramagos until uh, Arena kicks in. So focus on getting your core team, like, your light trio. Um, does, I'd honestly farm with your Phoenix because, come on, it's a nat 5. And then, uh, you know, your other core units and focus on getting them all 5-star runes for every single slot. You want to replace all those 4-star runes, all the 3-star runes. I, uh, my advice is Dragons B3 to B5. And Giants B4 to B6. Uh, if you do, if you can do B7 consistently, by all means. But Giants B4 to B6. And other than that, dude, just stay consistent. Keep plugging in those better runes. And as you replace those runes, you'll be amazed at what you're able to accomplish. Uh, so just, again, good job, dude. Keep plugging. Uh, you, you did awesome. You helped us last week, so I appreciate you. And to everybody else that helped us uh, last weekend with the event, I love all of you guys. You guys are, are amazing. Uh, so thank you so much. So that concludes this video, guys. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in and giving me the opportunity to uh, do these videos and these reviews and, and help you guys. It uh, means a lot to me to be able to do this. So that brings this video to a close. And the next video we'll be doing, we'll be covering Jitesh. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.